It gives me immense joy to welcome every one of you to this brand new year 2024. Analyzing President Bola Timur's New Year message, a constructive critic. Hello guys, welcome once again to Think Tank TV. Now we all know the importance of analyzing political messages for a better understanding of leadership perspectives. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the president of Nigeria, who emerged with so much controversies from his political rivals, Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar, has highlighted five major points of concentration of his government in his New Year message as seen on the screen. Yes, what you have note is his acknowledgement of God as a brain behind his achievement so far, coupled with somewhat expression of his sensitivity to key national issues. Of course, we must recognize commendable efforts by our political leaders. However, our duty is to constructively criticize areas where his message lacks clarity and specification or plans. We all know that successive governments has always seen it as a culture to always address the nation on the first of every year, which many can attest to little or no significant impact in the actions and results that follow. Anyways, it is imperative that the government puts more efforts in implementing the proposals and visions highlighted at the beginning of the year. As such, let's take a look at Tinubu's first issue to be addressed, improved electricity supply. My administration recognizes that no meaningful economic transformation can happen without steady electricity supply. It is a known fact that Nigeria has the highest GDP in Africa and as such needs more electricity supply to empower the small and medium scale industries which is the major facet in stabilizing the economy. However, beyond political pronouncements on national television, Mr. President must, um, as a matter of fact, urgently destabilize the cabals who by all means frustrate the power sector all in a bid to enrich themselves by continually importing generators into the country. I am well aware that for some time now, the conversations and debate have centered on the rising cost of high inflation which is now above 28%. For me, it's actually laughable how a sane government cannot think that a very wonderful way of mitigating the impact of the removal of subsidy is by slashing the taxes on its citizens. By this, we all know that this will have a better spread among Nigerians rather than buying the so-called CMG buses and depositing cash into the accounts of vulnerable Nigerians, which we all know will be another perfect way to loot from the treasury. With need to put in place a codified and simplified to ensure the business environment does not destroy value. On the issue of improved business environment, I ask, how can we improve the business environment without doing our best to reduce loan facilities for MSMEs to single digits, to allow interested and serious business owners access easy to service loans rather than use government parasitals to manage financing loans for business owners. This, we all know, will be perfectly managed by financial institutions like the banks and private mortgage institutions. 500,000 hectares of farmland across the country to grow maize, rice, wheat, millet, and other staple crops. Number four on his list is cultivating 500,000 hectares of farmland. I recall government used to provide free fertilizers for farmers in those days. Does all that still exist? What about expressly facilitating CFO for farmers to help encourage investors who can finance machineries for them to increase production of foodstuffs? We are moving a step further. Quest to restart local refinery of petroleum products with Potter Court refinery and the Dangote refinery, which shall fully come on stream. Lastly, on President Tinubu's list is the issue of petroleum refineries. Beyond Potakot and Dagote refineries, the issues of formally licensing modular refineries have been swept under the carpet. We must let the light carry men and women, young and old, shine bright and brighter to illuminate our path to a glorious dawn. I wish all of us a happy and prosperous year 2024. May God continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. 
we know that these suggestions can only get to the faces of our leaders when they become viral and how can that be done without your likes comments and shares please do what to like and share so that youtube can recommend this video for more people to see thank you for watching my name is moses waribo and this is think tank tv see you on our next video bye for now